Are you able to understand the irony of responding to the perceived political correctness of the left with exasperated reactionary hypersensitivity of your own? Not the left, the extreme left. And please point me to such response. I need a good laugh. There might be some exaggeration from some people for comic effect, but more on that later. And at least we don't try to infringe on your free speech. And what do you mean with reactionary? Nope, next. How do you define right wing? Anti SJWs often have an aversion to being labeled as right wing. Yet they regularly defend the right and bash the left. Therefore, why is being labeled right wing a bad thing to you? And if it's because right wing is used as a pejorative, can you not see how labeling people as SJWs or regressives is also pejorative? You have to understand that humans like to categorize stuff by labeling the French extreme left as left wing and everyone else as right wing. Not only are you molesting our current political language, you are assaulting our nature of categorizing. We are not defending the right and bashing the left. We are bashing you and defend the rest. Personally, I'm left wing, so I am of course not bashing the left, but I am being self-critical. Only you, the most extreme of the extreme left. Right wing is not a priority, it is an umbrella term for a number of political ideas with which there is nothing wrong unless you are on the extreme. Social justice warrior might be a priority, but it is a descriptive label for authoritarian advocates of social justice. And it seems like they themselves are using that term, so that is what I will be calling them. If you don't like the term, what would you prefer that we call you? Regressive is not curative either. It is descriptive. You want to regress to old ideas like racial segregation. The term is used as a reaction of your term progressive because we do not think that you are progressive. We think you are regressive. If you create a label that implies that you are in the right, we are going to make a similar label for you with the opposite connotation if we think it is more appropriate. Rather than telling people you disagree with to drink bleach, wouldn't it be more productive for you to have an actual conversation? Take it up with chimes. About the issues you feel matter? Or is it just easier to do the bleach thing? Drink bleach. But I thought the meme was that they rather drink bleach than listen to you. And it's a joke. You claim to be proponents of rational logic. I hate tautologies. Evidence-based argumentation. That's great. That's entirely laudable. But when I look at your online activity, when I look at, I don't know, for example, your Twitter feed, that's often not what I see. How do you reconcile this claim to be evidence-based and rational and logical? Idiot. Again, stuff like, oh, I was just trolling you, oh, I was just shit posting, or TLDR. A message on Twitter can be at most 140 characters. I'm going to be shareable and assume that a character, which is an ambiguous term, is a grapheme. So that is about two lines, including the name of the person you are addressing and any potential hashtags. How the fuck are you supposed to be able to have a serious discussion on Twitter? Nope, next! Are you aware that the ridiculous buzzwords you helped to popularize like SJW and cuck and regressive have all lost whatever meaning they once had and only serve now as catch-all insults and pejoratives to derail any meaningful conversation? Nope! But perhaps you should take a look at your side when lessing the current words into meaninglessness. That seems like a more important issue than doing it to new words. For the last time, what is it with you people and Committing actual, literal felonies. <laughs> Almost ye is awesome. Go fuck yourself! As for skulls, I don't know. And I have only seen the Bane 666 AU. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already shit course. But maybe Memento Mori, maybe they think they are cool, or maybe they just don't want to be called ableist. Like, you might want to work on that? I mean, I thought the Ralph retort was so rational when he was fantasizing about beating up women with dyed hair, but then he assaulted a police officer, and finally I was convinced. <laughs> I'm not going to look up what that is, but unless this is a widespread issue within a non-movement, I'm not going to answer for it. But if you think people should be held responsible for what other people do, you might want to work on that yourself in your community.